Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem by simplifying square root of 16 over 4 minus square root of 15. Now, solution. To simplify this, we we'll start by rationalizing this denominator. So, it will be equal to square root of 16 then over 4 minus square root of 15 then times from here to rationalize the denominator will multiply by 4 here we have minus so it will be plus square root of 15 then here we we'll multiply by this also in the numerator so 4 plus square root of 15 then it will be equal to square root of this times this so it will be 16 times 4 is 64 plus 16 times square root of 15 it is 16 square root of 15 then over from here in the denominator this times this is in the form of a minus b bracket times bracket a plus b bracket whereas this is a perfect square is equal to a square minus b square so we'll apply this form here a square it will be this 4 square so here 4 square minus b square it will be this square root of 15 square so here square root of 15 bracket square then it will be equal to square root of 64 plus 16 square root of 15 then over from here 4 square, 4 square it is 16 minus into here this square root will cancel square so it will be minus 15. Then it will be equal to from here in the denominator 16 minus 15 it is 1. So this numerator divided by 1 it is still this numerator. So here it will be square root of 64 plus 16 square root of 15. Then in the next step from here under this square root here this here will make in form of expansion of the rule which is a square plus b square plus 2ab which is expansion of a plus b bracket square so we'll make into this form here then it will be equal to square root of 64 then plus from here 16 to get this 2, it will be 16, it is 2 times 8, then times this square root of 15. Then it will be equal to square root of 64 plus 2, then this 8, 8 is same as square root of 8, then bracket square, because this square root will cancel square, then it will be 8. Then times this here, which is square root of 15. Then it will be equal to square root of 64, then plus 2 into here. It will be common square root of square root of 8 square. It will be square root of 8 times square root of 8. Then from here, square root of 15 is same as times square root of 5 times square root of 3 5 times 3 is 15 so it will be square root of 5 times square root of 3 then it will be equal to square root of 64 plus 2 then from here it will be square root of 8 times 5 is square root of 40 then times square root of 8 times 3 is square root of 24 then in the next step, it will be equal to square root of here, 64. 64 is same as 40 plus 24. You can see here 40, 24. Then plus 2 square root of 40 times square root of 24. Then from here into here, we'll make in form of this rule here. This rule here, a square plus b square plus 2ab so it will be it will be equal to square root 
of 40 40 to be to, to have common like this square root of 40 this 40 here is same as square root of 40 then bracket square because this square root and square will it will be 40 then plus 24 is same as square root of 24 bracket square then plus 2 square root of 40 times square root of 24 then in the next step from here this here now here in the denom here under square root this is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2 a b which is equal to a plus b bracket square so when you compare a square with square root of 40 square then a is equal to square root of 40 and when you compare b square with square root of 24 square it will be b is equal to square root of 24 so it will be equal to will apply this form here under under this square root so it will be square root of a plus b bracket square so it will be square root of 40 plus square root of 24 bracket square then from here this square root will cancel square so it will be equal to square root of 40 plus square root of 24 then it will be equal to square root of 40 40 is same as 8 times 5 plus square root of 24 24 it is 8 times 3 now it will be equal to we we'll separate this so it will be square root of 8 times square root of 5 plus square root of 8 times square root of 3 now into here square root of 8 is common so we we'll take a square root of 8 out of bracket then this divided by square root of 8 it is this square root of 5 plus this divided by this it will be square root of 3 bracket so it will be equal to square root of 8 8 is same as 4 times 2 then bracket square root of 5 plus square root of 3 bracket then it will be equal to from square root of 4 it is 2 then 2 times square root of 2 then bracket square root of 5 plus square root of 3 bracket so we'll apply, this is the final answer the simplified form of this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye